Hey guys, I'm Logan. I can't move. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to season six, episode six of Grey's Anatomy. Here we go. In order to get a good diagnosis. So we look at the patient from every possible angle. We rule things out. We uncover new information. Trying to get to what's actually wrong. Someone's getting fired. Stop it. Wasn't even my patient. What? Nothing. What was this gonna take? Why well, I didn't make a phone call. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm not going after this. Someone is. Dr. Hunt, you know Larry Jennings from our board, and this is our in-house counsel. We're just trying to get in front of this thing. Uh, I need you to give me the lay of the land of your ER tonight. A half a dozen burn victims, a penetrating chest wound, a firefighter with multiple traumas. What doctors were working? Yang, Gray, Kareb, Adamson, that big kid whose name I don't know, uh, Kepner, Avery, and Torres. <laughs> and who was on the patient in question when it died? Who got the chart first? Dr. Yang. It wasn't my patient. I had it for two seconds and then I was called outside. Okay, start from the beginning. I was paged to the ER. Oh, I'm gonna put myself in a timeout before I kill someone. Have you seen Bailey? Timeout's over. We'll send Bailey. Try to get the burn unit in the trauma rooms clear and call respiratory unit ventilators on standby. The burn victim and her kid. I handed it off. To who? Who did you hand it to? Lexi. It's gotta be Lexi. Take these. Sucks. Yang's turkey missile to crack eggs is while she runs outside for the good ones. Burn victim and her kid. Uh, Kelly Becker. Yes. Hi. And you must be Danny and Dr. Adam said you What's wrong with her? Me? Thanks. And the rain wouldn't let up, so we thought, you know, hey, why don't we just stop for the night? But you wish you kept driving, huh? I'm glad you made it out. Oh, thank God we were on the first floor. I'm scared. My mom can it burn. Mommy's all right. Baby, you're safe. See? One for them. And one for us. Stop being so paranoid. They hate us, April. Okay, um, your lungs sound good. <laughs> your vitals are great. Um, open up, please. Oh, my God. Okay, um, you look good. These burns on your chest are pretty minor, but the one on your calf might be third degree. So, what I'm gonna do, uh, hang on one second. Dr. Sloan? I'm just gonna have a plastic surgeon come and take a look, okay? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What did I just say? Dr. Bailey really needed some help. <laughs> he fainted. He fainted. He fainted. From what? Better have a brain tumor or something, because that's just unacceptable. <laughs> well, there was a blood drive today. Parked her in the hallway, went to get her labs, couldn't find the hallway. Of course, no one would help me. Yeah, don't even ask for help. These Seattle Grace people are kind of douching it. Case in point. <laughs> Who treated her burn? No, he didn't. I treated her burn. You did. Where was Sloan? Oh, God. Uh, Crab! 
clean that up. Dr. Sloan, need you. Well, I finished the breed cover the entire wound with silver sulfadiazine. Then loose gauze, loose, not too tight. I got it, I got it. So this woman oh, dies. We need hands. Is that what happens? And then I joined Dr. Sloan and Dr. Robbins. Okay, this is all set. I'm sorry, sorry. My dad. Where's my dad? Will you just give me a thing and we'll find him, okay? Because he's got to be looking for you, too. You want to switch with someone, Karev or somebody? You think I can't handle this? No, no, I think... Because I, I can. I'm good, I'm here. So you stayed with the burn patient in the trauma room? I... Yeah, I did. I was never with Mrs. Becker. I was with her little boy. I had just finished with him, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry! Hey, you free, I need a hand to do it. Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. So, good news, big guy. You are fine. His Chris Ox looks good. Everything looks good. He's totally fine. Oh, thank you. Roy oh, Mack, a 56-year-old firefighter, fell three stories from a ladder. Looks like a hip and femur fracture. Maybe radius. I don't see who's at fault yet. <laughs> Who's the cure? Shepard. Shepard? Yeah. Has any even pupils? Abdomen's rich. He's gonna Wait, he's going shot. after a kid? The nurse did. He said she was in a lot of pain. This patient is bed one, Kathy Becker. She's complaining of pain. I was never on her. I was in the OR with Dr. Bailey. I'm not, I, I don't, not mine. No idea. Did you order pain meds? No, Yang did. Next time I saw her, she was, she was dying. The only thing I can think of is the woman who freaking the first person who had her. She was dying? No, she wasn't dying. She said she had some pain. <laughs> I'm stitching up nosedive. Nosedive. What's his name? The, the dude that uh, the fainted. Doctor Percy. <laughs> nosedive. That's gonna stick. <laughs> Listen, it's been a week, is, and I don't know if you're alive or dead. So if I don't hear from you by tonight, I am calling the police and I'm reporting you as a missing person. So who gave her the morphine? No idea. I never even saw her. I ordered it. I did. Wait, your initials are on the chart, man. How long do I have to work here before they insert a bug on my ass? and one gram of cefazolin and 800 of ibuprofen, so I ordered two of morphine. You memorized her chart? Yeah, I checked it three times because she wasn't my patient. So you ordered the morphine. Did you follow up? Uh, no. My patient had come back from CT. All right, people, people, listen up. The burn unit and the ICU I, are full. All patients the are The only person here. I can think of this is, is uh, up, right? Kepner. Let's keep the trauma rooms clear for the burn. She was the first one who... Right, that's her name. Yeah. She was the first one who was with her because she had made a mistake in that process, being too focused on other things. Oh, I don't know what he's here. For. He's fine, Roy. He's being taken care of. You saved his life. No. Can I ask something? You say the patient asked for meds for pains in her chest. No, on her chest she had burns. All right, thank you, Dr. Yang. Are you saying that she had chest pains, that I ordered the wrong medication? It's hard to say. The next entry on her chart was Dr. Gray putting in a chest Thank you, so Dr. Yang. I was. I was supposed to be with the burn with Evan Lang. Mm. All right, people, listen up. The burn unit in the ICU oh, this is cool. wild. All patients are staying here until some more beds open up, all right? Let's keep the trauma rooms clear for the burn cases, please. <laughs> the rain. Dr. Gray, you grew up here, right? So you get used to the rain? <laughs> Dr. Gray, step out. Come back when you've got together. Go. <laughs> she can't breathe. Oh, it's okay. I'm okay. Hey, Mom, she can't breathe. <laughs> it was a pneumothorax. What's that? A long collapse. 
How did you not see? It's gotta be the first person who did it. Gabby, don't let him see me die. You're not gonna die, I promise. You could have punctured a die. I know, I just, I lost count. Why? Did you get the chest tube in? I did. I, I did. I, I just... She did. She just missed a step. Three. There's a tension pneumothorax. You have to relieve the pressure so she doesn't crawl before you put the chest tube in. Do you want me to do it? No, I, I can do it. I, I got it. And she, she was a little distracted, but... You were distracted? What were Dr. We... Yang was making a toddler cry. So... Yang. Well, you would have yelled at him too. Why was he there in the first place? I don't know how he got there. The patient was coding. The patient was coding. Coax are stable. The war is ready. This is crazy. With me, Torres, and Mr. McCoy, and we're ready for the female. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I'm so sorry. He's a coding, Roy. Roy, he's fine. He's fine. I missed a step. One stupid mistake. Yeah, you fell, Roy. It was an accident. It was burning. No. 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 This kid. I took the kid. He was with me, but I, I can't watch him. I'm supposed to be in trauma too. Oh boy. Alright, I, I, I got him. I'll take him. Huh. I just sit with him until his dad comes. I've left him alone. No, you left him. Come here. Hey, can you sit with him until his dad comes? Thanks. It's absolutely crazy. Everything's happening so much. It's happening so much. Because he's feeling everything. His every nerve is exposed and raw. And we have to make him feel worse before he's going to feel better. Past all of this pain. And if you can't do that, if you can't do your job, then you find someone who can and you send them to me. Did you see Mrs. Becker again? No. Did you see Karev perform an emergency cricothorotomy? I wasn't there. I was right there. I saw it. Then you find someone who can and you send them to me. Doctor? Stop breathing. Move, 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 move. Give me a 7 ET tube. Damn it. Move. Did Karev try to intubate? First, Charles tried to tube her, then Reed came to help, and then Karev performed the prank. I thought you didn't see it. I did. I, and you I, didn't I, try to help? It's too much swelling in the air, but. Oh my uh, god, this is driving me nuts. I am losing my mind. Move. Okay, here's the thing about the rain. It usually just drizzles. It's, it's not like tonight. But when it stops, everything is super green and it's beautiful and... <laughs> Dr. Karev seemed to have it under control. Karev seemed totally out of control. Yeah. Karev. Hit the karev. He kept saying something about hitting her carotid. Yeah. We already had one doctor pass out after giving blood. I'm asking. We all give blood. Every gay blood, Yang gay blood, gray gay blood. I give blood every two months. Just because some dumbass didn't need a cookie. I'm asking if you gave blood today, Dr. Karev. No. That's a lie. And you, you haven't heard from her since then? You'll tell me if she calls. It's in point. Wait, wait. Don't sleep. I gotta go. Sorry. He didn't so get one. Oh, you mean Patrick? Hey. Uh, my guys would like to line the hall for Roy when he comes out of surgery. No, I wasn't waving at Reed. I was waving at Kareb, but he wouldn't get off the phone. He what? Kareb, she's completely closed off. I can't see your cords. Come home so we can talk. I hung up the phone. 
after another doctor got there first. A patient was dying. Hang up the phone. Ow. Yeah, that's oh, good and tight there. Ow. Hey, where are you? Are you okay? No, I know. Your mom, your mom, she said she didn't. You left him alone. I mean, what were you planning to? I'm sorry, I feel... Liz, I'm asking you to wait, please. No, I got... Look, just wait. Just wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh. Mm. Liz, just give me a number. Mo, she needs a crank. I'm scared. I am back. She's got no landmarks. I was hoping that she would... What are you... You're going in blind? Got it. Start going, lady. I got off the phone. I stayed with her after that. You had that phone you had under control. It was a good crank. She was stable. She's got pulmonary edema, so it's too hard for you to check in her light. She got CBC, lights, ABG. Yeah. Chocolate one is clear. I should have been What happened? Where is she? Hey, can you give me a hand? I'm just waiting. You're right here, right? April Kepner? Uh, no, no, this is Alex Karim. Don't let me Carbon monoxide level was 28. He's 69 over 32, pulse is 158. We're already filling her with food. Yeah. Stable. Christina scrub out. Go see if you can help. Go. There was so much swelling, we couldn't find good veins. Well, we had to start a central line. Her chart was like a phone book now. She's an SBT, push six of a disease. She works in the 70s. Oh, I'm sorry. What the hell? She was coding when I got there. Oh my god. I know what happened. I know why she died. No, 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 no. What the shit? You've lost her. Somebody call it. Well, whose patient is she? Whose patient is this? That's what I was saying the whole time. She's the first one that was there. She missed something. What did she tell them? What did she say? I don't know you, but Dr. Adelson just spent 20 minutes in that chair telling me what an excellent doctor you are. Your school records, your evaluation from Mercy was also the same thing. And I believe it. I believe you're good. Dr. Weber, I, I So you know. should be able to tell me what would have caused Kathy Becker to bleed out and die from multi-system organ failure? Burns can cause massive tissue But the burn injury. was probably cleaned and dressed. Well, there must have been more damage. I mean, she had a collapsed lung. That's right. She needed a chest tube. But why would her lungs have failed? She, she went into respiratory distress. They said they cracked her. Why not intubate? Well, her airway was too swollen, they couldn't get it. Oh, well, what would cause that kind of inflammation in her throat? Soot, smoke inhalation. How did she Mrs. Didn't Becker's have... throat look? No, she, 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 she wasn't hoarse, she, she wasn't How coughing. How did it look, Dr. Kepner? Her breath sounds were good. She what? Respiratory I'm breaths. asking you. What it looked like. You messed up. 
Hey, your lungs sound good and your vitals are great. Open up, please. Oh my god. You look good. These burns on your chest are pretty minor, but the one on your calf might be thicker. You never looked. You didn't look at her throat. Because if you had, you would have seen soot. And you would have intubated immediately. And none of this would have ever happened. That's it. I got distracted. I it was it was insane. No. It was a simple mistake. And the circumstances you are under are. <clears throat> Oh, that's fucked. I'm sorry, Dr. Kim. You've okay, got to be kidding me. And look what has left. It's over. You've lost her. Well, whose patient is she? Whose patient is this? Time of death is 12.45 a.m. You're fine. Wow. What? What? That's insane. It's not the doctor's fault. Yeah, it's you. That was your fault. They're all good doctors. I know that. I needed to know who finally was responsible. It sounds like I'm gonna do that. When I got to that room, it was chaos. Because that's the system now. Yeah, chaos. The system is, your that system is flawed. System that has been in place since this merger. Your system. I just don't see how you're gonna fire her for that. I mean, I get it, but like in the scenario like now, I guess he fired, he fired Izzy the same way, I guess, technically, but Izzy was different, in my opinion. I feel like it was a completely different scenario. The answer we get just confirms our worst fears. Make you see it in a whole new way. Hey, is she gone? Did she leave? Yeah, she was good. She was a better doctor than I am. I'm sorry, I was just, uh, forget it. Rough night, man. It's an April Miss of Airway, huh? That's so stupid. She got distracted and she made a mistake. That we all nearly got fired for. No, that's got a point. Thank you. What? We nearly got fired for trying to fix what she screwed up in the first yeah, place. Yeah, because that's our job. You've been distracted for the entire week. Who knows what you screwed up? Our patients didn't die, and that's why we didn't get caught. It could have happened to any one of us. You finally find what you were after. She lasted two episodes. The truth. What? I just... I don't understand. Where'd you go? Very. I've been waiting for Bailey all night. What? Getting rid of a new character that fast is insane. Firing her when I I get the mistake. I get it. That's a bad 
big mistake. That is a huge mistake. And I, I don't even know this person. <laughs> Look at me defending this person. I don't even know. Well, like, I mean, it, I just don't. I don't see just straight up firing her. You gotta do it, I guess. It's a you have to thing kind of thing. That's just crazy to me. On a system that this is Richard's fault. This is hands down. This is Weber's fault. It it it. It's his fault. And I know that hospitals are chaos and hospitals are crazy and all that. But you got to do a better job for your doctors. And part of me feels like they just fired, like, Lexi or Christina. Like, I feel like she actually was really good. I don't fully know, but she seemed really good. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. See you all next time.